welcome back to a new video. My name is Ross and today we are going to make this thing behind me. The nice greenhouse. So a while back ago on my channel I made this complete build and I also included this greenhouse. So if you go in and you go to the right then you get into the greenhouse and honestly I really really love it. I really love the design, the colors and everything and it seems that a lot of you guys actually like this design as well so I thought why not making a tutorial out of it. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So before we start with the greenhouse if this is your first video then Go check out all the other videos because I have a lot of cool builds including this one as well so if you haven't seen that video yet go check it out. So yes welcome to the channel anyway we are going to make this. So for this build we need these type of blocks. It's not a lot as you can see and yes also some greenery but these are the main blocks that you need. Which is the grey concrete, we need some birch stairs, some birch fans some light grey stained glass, some sandstone wall and some bird slab or full block. But these are also slabs so uh, you can of course put two slabs on, each on top of each other to make a full block. So I guess just a slab. Those are the main ingredients for this build. So let's just start with the building. We need to make a center. And the center exists out of four blocks. So we place four blocks like this. And then we count 13 blocks this direction, that direction, that direction and that direction. So from one of these sides we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Break all of these in the middle. And then we make two of them. So just like the center over there, two over here. And we are going to do that with all of these sides. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. And then we break all the middle blocks and we make this into a 2, like that. And we are going to do that with that side and that side. You will end up with something like this. So now we are going to break the middle because we don't need it. We can just make that into grass. And then we are going to break the grey concrete that we just placed but then put it in the ground like this. And we are going to do that with all of these. So instead of that they are on top of uh, the grass or the land we are just going to put them inside the ground like this. And then we are going to count three on either side. So one, two and three. One, two and three. Same for this side. One, two, three, and on the other side, one, two, and three. So then it will become a strip of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks. And you guessed it, we are going to do that with these two as well. So one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So now we are going to create a circle out of this. And how we are going to do this is choose a side and then go two. On a diagonal then another two on the diagonal then we are going to do that with this side as well so two on the diagonal then another two on the diagonal and then if it's right you should have one two and three single blocks on a diagonal like this so if you then look up you have a sort of circle shape now we're going to fill that up with grey concrete and we are going to do the exact same thing that we did over here, over there. So I will show it one more time. One, two, on the diagonal, one, two, on the diagonal, then one, two, three, just single blocks. And then on this side as well, one, two, and one, two, like that. It's pretty simple. Now we have half a circle, we need to add a half as well. So. Just create the same thing that we did over here, over on the other side. And if it's right, you end up with this a nice circle. At this point, we are taking the light grey stained glass. And what we are going to do is we are going to put a layer on top of these concrete blocks that we just placed in the ground. Just all the way around. Like that. 
And then we are going to raise all these glass blocks with 10 blocks or becomes 10 blocks. So this is block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So from the ground till the top is 10 blocks of glass. And we are going to do that with all the glass over here. So you will get a big jar basically of glass. So if you did that right, then it will look like this. As I said, it will become one big jar. Now we have to make the dome of the same glass. So the dome shape is obviously the hardest part of this build. So pay attention because it's really hard to make uh, one block uh, misplaced and it will look a bit weird. So just pay attention because this will be a little bit hard to explain. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to choose a side, one of these long sides of eight blocks long. Then we put a glass block here within this corner and in this corner. So in between these two blocks, we have a room of six blocks. So we then we go up by one. Then we make this one, two, three, four, five and six blocks long. So it also goes inwards a little bit. Then we make a row on top of that of four blocks. One, two, three and four. So you will have this shape. So one more time, in one of these uh, long sides we place one and two glass blocks in these corners. Then we go up by one, also sideways or inwards. And then we place one, two, three, four, five and six blocks. And then one, two, three and four on top, like that. And we are going to do that with all these uh, sides as well. So also these two sides. So you end up with this and then we are going a little bit further and what we are going to do is we go inwards. So also on one of these sides over here we go uh, diagonal like this or inward like this. And then we place one, two and three blocks. Then we go inward again and we place two blocks like this. Then we place a diagonal one and two blocks like that. And we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So go inwards like this and then one, two, three. Then go inwards again and one and two. Like that. So that's of course one quarter and we are going to do that with this side, that side and that side as well. Then we go one layer upwards if you have done that. So this one is a bit tricky. What we are going to do is to one of these blocks that we just created. Then we go to this little corner and we go inwards like this. Now we are not going inwards again. We are just going to bl place blocks on these. So one, two, three and four. So this strip is four blocks long. Then only one block over here. So nothing on here. Then we go diagonal. And then we place one block on here like that so on this block one block on top of here on this block will be nothing we are going to place a block on this one and we make this one into uh, in two blocks like this so you will have a little step like that and then a strip of one two three and four blocks on top of these blocks that we place down here that will look like this if you did that right. If you couldn't follow it, maybe by just uh, passing this screen over here like this, maybe you can then recreate it. It's not that hard, but uh, it's a bit tricky to see. So yet again, that's one quarter. And because it is a dome shape or circle, we can do it on all these other sides as well. So nice progression. We start to slowly see a dome shape. So let's keep going. So now we have this part. This little part that you see over here is done. We don't do anything with this anymore. So we are going to go to this line over here. What we are going to do is on these four blocks, we are going to forget this block on this side and we place one over here. Then we do that as well on the other side over here. And then we are going to connect these two blocks with just a line of blocks all the way to the other side. So this is a line of 10 blocks from this side to that side. And then we are going inwards and we place one, two on a diagonal, like two of like so. Then one and then one diagonal again and then one diagonal again. So only try to look at 
uh, this layer forget all the layers down here just on this layer it's simply a 10 block long line then two then one diagonal one diagonal one diagonal and then we do the same thing two and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and there you go we have again a quarter and you guessed it let's do that on all the other sides okay so for the next few layers i will do it a little bit differently so you can actually see the difference and i will do that with pink terracotta but of course the terracotta shouldn't be terracotta it should be glass but in that case or in that way you see what i'm actually doing so if you did it right it will look like this and then we are going again one layer up and we are still going to place blocks on these blocks as well so we are going inwards by one and inwards by one as well and then a line of eight blocks so on top of the glass over here we are placing eight blocks and you will have one block missing over here and one block missing over here then we are going diagonal and we place two then another two like that then only one and we do the same thing two two and one two three four five six seven and eight and there you go we have one quarter so eight blocks two blocks two blocks one in the middle then two two and eight blocks again that is one quarter of course as i said the pink terracotta shouldn't be terracotta it should just be glass but in that way you can see it way easier what i'm actually doing so do that and do that on all these sides if you change the uh, pink terracotta for the uh, stained glass then it will look like this and we are on the right track so what are we going to do now we are always going to this face over here the big face one of the sides of the circle and then we are going inwards again and i will do that again with pink terracotta so you can see we are going to find the middle two blocks which are these two blocks over here and then we place one two three and four blocks on here and one two three four blocks on the other side together it will be a block of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so if you can see we are going inwards over here and then it will be one long strip of ten blocks then we go in diagonal and we place two then we are going to the diagonal again and we place one block then we go diagonal again only by one block then we place one block diagonal again but this one will be two blocks like this so if you look from the top it will look like this so we have a strip of 10 blocks then two one one two and you can guess it again a strip of 10 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten from the top it will look like this and if it looks like that for you then you did it right of course again these terracotta blocks should be glass so i will change it into glass and we will do it on all the other sides as well look at that we are starting to get the dome shape now again we are going to do another layer and this layer will be on top of these blocks so again find the middle and that's probably these two blocks yes that is and if you found the middle and you have these two blocks like this on top of the glass then we place one two blocks on this side and two blocks on the other side so then you will see that you miss two blocks over here and miss two blocks over here and this strip will be six long one two three four five and six again on top of this glass then on one of these sides we go diagonal like this and we make three of those so one two and three like this then go diagonal by one block and then another diagonal block and then another diagonal block and then another diagonal block but this one will be three long so one two three and then one two three four five and six and that's the long side again so again from the top it looked like this six blocks three blocks one 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 three blocks six blocks and that's one quarter 
So do that with all the other sides and again change the terracotta into glass. So we are almost there with the dome shape. A few more layers. This one we are going inwards again. So choose one of these sides. Find the middle which are these two blocks over here. And then go inwards. So we are making one step inwards again over here. So if you found the middle then we make one two three blocks on one side and one two three on the other side like this together it will be a strip of eight blocks one two three four five six seven and eight then we go diagonal by two blocks like this on one of these sides then go diagonal by one block by another block then we go diagonal by one another block and this one will be two as well so two blocks if you look from the top it will be a strip of eight blocks two blocks one block one block two blocks and of course eight blocks so guys go diagonal and then one two three four five six seven and eight and there you go now you have a quarter again so do that with all the other sides and change it to glass so if you're done with that layer we are going to the next layer which is pretty simple so you go to one of these longer sides then you go in by one block and you make an exact same line so this line is as wide as the line beneath so eight blocks one two three four five six seven and eight blocks then we are going on a diagonal and we place two blocks then just one block on diagonal and then two blocks on a diagonal like so and then we go diagonal again and then you are over here at one of these longer sides and again eight blocks one two three four five six seven and eight that will look like this if it's right and from the top it will look like this so eight blocks over here two one two and then eight blocks again so again do that for all the sides and also create make it out of glass and not out of terracotta and also i just woke up so if my voice is a little bit different from the other clips then yes i just woke up <laughs> so now it's going to be a little bit interesting for that we need the glass and what we're going to do is in every corner in every corner we are going to place an extra glass block so in these corners on the highest layer only the layer that we just created on all these corners we place glass like so that will look like this and then we go diagonal diagonal up one and then then we are going to follow the line that we just created so we stay outside like this and then we just go over the holes over here and we make a line around it basically it's a bit hard to explain with but what we actually do is just create another layer uh, and we just follow this this contour so all the way around like this and then go around go around go around and then you will end up over there at that block again so just what i do right now just follow the contour break those corner blocks we probably will place them back again but just break them for now like this oh and just follow the line then you end up with something like this it is six blocks long then two one two and again six blocks and then you repeat that basically and it's just following the contour so now you can see that we are slowly sloping in towards the middle and that's good so what we are now going to do is over here you see this gap between these two blocks and these two blocks we are going to fill that with glass just flat as you can see like this and we do this with all sides so between these two and these two we are going to put another line so between these two and these two another line of glass and between these two and these two another line of glass like this then we place two blocks in the corners over here over here over here and over here 
So then we go to one of these sides again and what we are going to do is we go diagonal by one and up by one and then we place a strip of eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So between these two and these two glass blocks we place a strip of eight. We again going to follow the contour that we just created or the, the hole that we just created. So that means that we also place a diagonal block like this. Then another diagonal block and this one will be 8 blocks long so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then we go diagonal by 1 and we do the same thing again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. You guessed it, do that with this side as well. Now we are almost there. So this one will be a bit weird to do. So what we are going to do is we are going to find the exact middle of this box. So that means that what you are going to do is go to one of these sides and do a strip like this. Do that on the other side as well. Find the middle, do a strip like this. Something like this and then this, let's see, is going to be the middle if that's right. So we have a 2x2 two two, which is the middle as you can see that's dead center so there is a space with uh, there is a space of one two three four blocks between all sides four blocks here four blocks here four blocks here and four blocks here and then you have a middle but it shouldn't be as flat as this one we actually should go up by one break the rest as you can see we have a glass 2x2 two two in the middle which is one block higher than this block over here. Then what we are going to do is on all sides we place one, two, three extra blocks. So like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three, like this. So you get a big cross. Now we place one block on this side and one block on the other side. So you will have a strip of four blocks. And we are going to do this with all the other sides as well like so and then on every corner we are going to place a diagonal like so in that way you create a circle again like so and then we will fill up these little gaps that we created so fill up those with glass and you will have a circle like this now this part is really simple what we are going to do is we go one uh, layer lower on this layer and we are just going to fill in the glass till it till all these holes are filled in so just fill all the glass till all the holes are filled so not underneath it just like so and if you did that right you have a complete dome now this is honestly the hardest part of the whole build doing the dome so i hope the tutorial actually helped and you could follow it and create it yourself domes are always really hard to make in minecraft but anyway i hope it worked out for you so the only thing that is missing now is decoration and probably a door so that's the next step so we start from down here and we start with the birch slab or birch block because over here on this big side we need to count one two and then place a block like this so we have two glass blocks on this side then we count one two and place another block then as you can see we have two blocks on this side as well and two blocks in the middle then in this corner we place another block and in this corner we place another block like this so we were working towards the right and then we are placing one more like this so we have two blocks over here then in this corner one in this corner one and in this corner one so three together now if we do this on this side as well and we build towards the left so that means two blocks from this side and we place a full block we count two and we place a full block so we have two blocks over here two in the middle and two over here one in the corner one in this corner and one in the other corner you will have a space of two blocks over here and as you can see this side is exactly the same as this side and you can already guess it this counts for all the other sides as well 
So one more time, if you go to one of these big places or big panels, one in this corner, one in this corner, one in this corner, we leave these two, then one in this corner, one in this corner, one in this corner, one, two, then one, two, and you see that you have a space of two again. And then it's exactly half the whole build. Now, if you do this on the other side as well, you should end up right. So do this whole line on this side as well. If you did that correctly, it will look like this, which is great. So now we are going to sandstone wall. So on one of these birch blocks, you place a sandstone wall, then one, two, three, four, and five birch fences, and then two sandstone walls on top of there. As you can see, there is one block clearance before you go inwards with the dome. So two blocks of sandstone walls, then five blocks of fence, and then one sandstone wall on top of this block. This is the pillar that will be made on every single birch block that we just placed. So do this on all of these birch blocks. So if you did that right, it will look like this. And that looks really, really cool. So this next step is pretty easy. What we are going to do is we are going to place uh, birch slabs on top of all the pillars that we just created. So on top of all the sandstone walls, we place some birch slab. Then if you have done that, we are going to this layer and we are going to place birch slabs on this glass layer. So all on these glass blocks, we are going to place the birch slabs only on top of the glass like this. So if you do this all the way around, you will end up with this. So the next part will be a bit interesting. What we are going to do is we need the birch stairs and we need the birch slabs. Now for the first part it's actually pretty easy but as soon as we go around it will get a little harder. So we go to one of these big faces again and then we go with, between these two birch slabs. We are placing an upside down stair like this and an upside down stair like this. So you will get a little bit of a kind of a arch basically we do this on this side as well so one upside down stairs like this and one upside down stairs like this then you create a little arch again and we do this of course on the other side as well so like this and like this and then when we go diagonal it will be a little bit different in this case we need the bird slab and we place a bird slab on this level so you get in cre uh, create a little bit of that arch again then over here as well and then when we get in this little corner over here we place a birch stairs upside down like this and on this side facing the other way so you create again a little bit of an arch but this one is a little bit harder because we are on a diagonal and not on just a straight line so if you did it right, your stair should look like this. Then of course we go around the corner and um, we have the same pattern again. So in this case we need the birch slab over here, over here. And then we need the upside down stairs like this. And over here, over here and over here. Just that what we did in the beginning. And then over here and over here. And as you can see, we did now a full quarter of this. And if you do this all the way around, you should end up with this design. And that looks really, really cool. So we created a nice border before the dome and we created some nice pillars. So for the next step, we need the bird slabs. And what we are going to do is above these two pillars, so go to one of these uh, longer sides or bigger sides, go to these two pillars and place a slab on top of here and on top of here. So with a space of two, as you can see, you create a full block instead of a slab. So two slabs on top of each other is just a full block. You can also place a full block if you want. So two over here, 
Then we skip this pillar, but we go to this pillar. And in this case, we need to place a slab over here and then one on top. So a full block like this, which is directly above this pillar over here. So we skip this one, but above this pillar, we place a full block like this. Then when we get into this corner, just between these two stairs, we place another slab. So you create a full block over here. Now this is of course a quarter. That means that the exact same thing goes for this side. So find this pillar. So skip this one, find this pillar, place one extra slab or actually a full block like this, just above this pillar. And then above these two pillars, we place another slab. So you create a full block like this. So if you've done that right, you have these two blocks, a block over here, a block over here in the corner, a block over here and two blocks over here. And this will be repeated on all sides. So from this point forward, it will be a little bit harder because we have to make these lines that goes around the uh, dome. So that will be a little bit harder. The first thing what we are going to do is we are going to place the sandstone walls on each of these blocks that we just created. So on each of these will be a sandstone wall. And when you have done that, we are going to this side again. So one of these bigger sides. And then we are going to place on top of this glass one, two sandstone walls. And we do this for this one as well. And then another one over here, two against the glass like this. So you go with the glass. So that doesn't mean you should do this, but go with the glass like so. So one over here, then two, and then another two. And do this with this side as well. Now, of course, we have to do this with this side as well, with this side as well. And of course, with that side over there as well. So in the end, it will look like this, which is good. But these diagonals will be a little harder. Let's first keep on going with these two pillars that we just created. So we need the birch stairs. And what we are going to do is a birch stair over here and a birch stair over here facing inwards like this. Then between these two birch uh, stairs, we place two walls, sandstone walls. Then on top of this glass as well, on top of this glass as well. So we go with the glass, two sandstone walls next to each other and then over here as well. And in this case, we'll do it like this. So two extra on the same level and it will look like this. And of course, we are going to do this with all the other three sides as well. So when you have done that, we are going to make the crown or at least I call it a crown. So what we are going to do is we go to one of these pillars that we just created and then place on this class some birch fences or birch uh, slabs. So two go over here and two over here. And then we place one, two birch slabs like this. Now we are going to do this with all the sides. It's not that hard. So four blocks and two blocks or slabs, I should say. Do this with this side as well, like so. And in this case as well, you end up with this, which looks good. Then when we go in one of these diagonals, we place two slabs like this and one over here. Do this with all the diagonals, like so. Then we place a slab on this diagonal, on this diagonal, on this diagonal and on this diagonal. Then we go to this slab over here and we place one in diagonal as well. So it ends up like this. We do this with all sides. So if you can see, we create some kind of a crown. So if you do this on all sides and you place them all in a diagonal, it will look like this and which looks really, really good. So to top it all off, pun intended, we are going to find the middle over here, which is these four blocks, as you can see, it's exactly the middle. 
So in this case, these slabs will be full blocks. So the middle ones, these four blocks will be complete blocks. And then around it, we will place some slabs. So nothing over here in the corner, just on all the sides, two of these slabs. And then you have the crown completely done. So all what is missing are these three pillars that have to go around towards these slabs over here. So let's start with the diagonal one over here. So when you get to this middle one, we are going to place one, two extra sandstone walls. Then we go inwards on the diagonal by one, two. So two sandstone walls on top of each other. Then we go diagonal again and we place another one on top. So three sandstone, sandstone walls, then diagonal, two sandstone walls, diagonal, sandstone walls, two of them again. And then on this one, just place one and on this one as well, like so. And as you can see, it now follows the curve of the dome. So this one will be a little harder. We have to go to one of these and I will choose this one for now to show you. So when you get to this sandstone pillar, we or sandstone wall, we will place one sandstone wall behind it. Then on that sandstone wall will be one placed again and then one to the left. So you get a sort of a zigzag going back up and to the left and in this case because we are then on the other side it's going to the back to the top and to the right instead of the left of course of course we have to mirror this side to that side so uh, this one goes to the left this one goes to the right so then on top of this sandstone wall we place another one then we go diagonal and we place one on top of that as well so you have two sandstone walls over here and two sandstone walls over here. If you have to do this on this side, same thing, go to this sandstone wall, place one on top and two over there. So as you can see, it's a direct mirror what we are doing. So then for the next layer, we are going up and one to the left or one towards the middle. So this is the middle. If, if we say that this is the middle, then towards the middle. That means that on this side, it will go to the right over there towards this middle, as you can see. Then we place one above this one, like so. In this case, it will be over here. Then again, we go diagonal by one like this towards the middle and then one diagonal again. And as you can see, this sandstone wall be, will be in front of this slab. Now if you have to do this on this side, go diagonal towards the, in, towards the middle, like this. And then one over here. And as you can see, now we have two lines, which is exactly the same. So if, if this would be the mirror line, then this will be the mirror of that one. So this is a full quarter done. That means that this should be done over here, over there, and over there. And now you completed the dome. It looks really, really cool. I really love the design of this dome. So for a greenhouse, this looks great. But of course, we don't have an entrance. And to make an entrance, and this will probably surprise you, we will break four blocks and that's your entrance. Now, joking aside, uh, whatever your entrance will be, that doesn't really matter. It does, of course, it depends on where your build is, if you want to connect it towards your build, because for this, in this example, the build is actually connected to it, as you can see. But maybe you want this to be a standalone, and in that case, you can just create a simple door like this, or you create some kind of design by putting two st uh, slabs above it or something like that or uh, I don't know uh, you can always kind of like give it some kind of a design like so to give it a little entrance you could do this if you want but of course it's all about the inside it's a big dome it's a big greenhouse 
and honestly whatever you do with the inside is completely up to you so to use this dome as an example what i did is place some leaves on all the sides just dotted them around and also use some some of these vines and place them on the outside on top of the glass as well to give that kind of overgrown feeling but you may choose something completely different of course if you go to the inside this looks really really cool but maybe you have a different plan of how to design the inside of your dome so i just made a little bit of a stair it's not perfect uh, so i'm not going to do a tutorial on how to make a stair and how to make this platform because it's pretty well it's pretty simple i think everybody can make it and I just created some pathways and I created some sitting areas and I created some trees and some plants and some stuff. But maybe you have something completely different in mind what you want to build over here inside this dome. So of course you can use this as inspiration if you want to make this. Then go pause the video right now or just go back to the actual video of this house then you can see me building it. So you have a kind of idea how to do this. I suggest using these uh, flowering blossoms or spore blossom or something like that. They are really cool. They give these particle effects. So that makes this uh, dome much more alive. So yet again, the inside is completely up to you. It's not that special what I created. So I think you are fine by making your own design. But of course the dome is a pretty hard one so i hope you could follow this tutorial to make this dome in your own world anyway that's this tutorial done i hope you enjoyed i hope you liked it it was really cool to make and i hope you enjoyed this video as well again if this is your first video please go check out my channel i have a few other videos about for example this build and some other cool buildings uh, dotted around here if you want world download, it's in the description as well if you want to check this build for yourself. And with that, thank you all for watching. So please consider to subscribe and I see you guys in the next video.